the last couple times down the floor, Kittle's been a ball handler as opposed to Kidd. They've had him run more off the ball. Hornets have their biggest lead. Kittles comes off the screen. Wesley's there with it. Campbell helps, but McCullough is there to follow. McCullough does a good job finishing around the basket. He's, he's a good field goal shooter. He's got a good touch around the hoop. He can get open. Starting fives out there for both teams. In that point guard matchup, Baron Davis against Jason Kidd. Here's Campbell. Oh. Blocked by McCullough, who hauls it down. Good defense by Todd McCullough. He saw that um, Van Horn was in trouble with the basketball and made the correct read. Kittle's an open look. Good communication there by Shaw. They should just switch the play. The Lynch thought they were going to switch it, and they just didn't do it. Kittle's shot only 32%. In the next series against Indiana, he has a half dozen points today. Again, Charlotte established that long post game. Elton Campbell, offensive foul. That's his fourth. That is a big call to go against Charlotte right there. Paul's going to probably have to go to this bench and give, El give Elton a rest. Elton tries to spin baseline off. I didn't really necessarily see the hook. I would have thought more was coming was a traveling call. But uh, Eddie Rush felt like he hooked him on the play. Gave him a little shoulder bump, but that's normal for that low post play, and he didn't really seem to hook him. So Trailer replaces Campbell now in foul trouble, and they go right to McCullough against Trailer. Big size advantage. And McCullough hits. It's a little different now. Instead of Campbell's big hand down there, you lose a couple of inches to Trailer, and McCullough feels much more comfortable. They went right at it, got a good score. Here he is again, whips it into Taylor. He tried to slip it to Lynch. He recovers for Charlotte. Five to shoot. Lynch, block. Fifth block for Todd McCullough. McCullough did a good job on the last two plays of stepping out and, and, and stopping penetration by the ball. Three to shoot. Everybody was talking about the new aggressive, assertive Keith Van Horn in there. Series against Indiana, especially in game five when he had a career playoff high 27. But Byron Scott wants him to be in that aggressive mode, and right there he makes a very nice play, attacking the rim, drawing a defense, and, and making the fine pass to, to McCullough. McCullough finishes and has a chance for the three point play. See, Van Horn drives the baseline. Track the trailer steps up and then releases McCullough and Van Horn does a nice job of finding him. Todd gets the three-point play. He has ten points. He had three in the first half. But attacking here in the third quarter sends Eldon Campbell to the bench in foul trouble. It's taking advantage of the lack of size. Davis for three. Long rebound to Trailer. Nice pass to P.J. Brown. Good help, though, from both Van Horn and McCullough. Well, McCullough's been a real defensive presence this quarter. Three shots blocked for him. Does a good job coming over as a secondary defender. Van Horn stays straight up, gets P.J. Brown to try and finish over him, but sets him up for the block by McCullough. An unlikely hero for the Nets in this third quarter in Todd McCullough. Offensively and defensively, he has... Six, no five of the eight block shots. See what McGlure out right now, and then Campbell in foul trouble. Charlotte has no inside presence. And Brown has nine points. Fella again, he makes a nice pass to Kenyon Martin. Fouled by Brown. Well, that was, that was a great, a great pass. McCullough just doing a terrific job. You know, I mean. Starting off, shot blocking, offensive rebounding, uh, finishing around the basket where he's a high percentage shooter, and defensively, he's got three blocks in this quarter. He's doing a terrific job. He's doing it all. Yeah, yeah, man. Averaging seven in the playoff series against Indiana and five on the regular season. In New Jersey, trying to establish the low post game with Campbell out. Campbell shakes his head. That's three on trailer. And Eldon Campbell on the bench with four. 
Uh, coming into this series, you thought that Charlotte had the big size advantage, right. but between McGuire out and Mashburn sick. Well, he needs to give them something because they're just playing off of him at this end of the floor and sagging in on Baron Davis and anybody else who tries to penetrate. Good help from Brown who got a hand on the McCullough shot, but Todd finds the ball and when he does, he knows what to do with it. He has great hands and he's got great finish around the basket. 13-4 run by the Nets to take the lead. Know, Tom, sometimes these big guys wonder why their coaches had them do these figure eight drills, but look <laughs> at this ball handling move by Todd McCollum. <laughs> the uh, third quarter comeback for the Nets, led by Todd McCullough. He's hit four of five. His only missed shot, he rebounded and put back in. He has nine points, four rebounds, and two blocks in the third quarter. And it also points up how foolish was the flagrant foul by Jamal McGlure, already shorthanded without the leading scorer, Jamal Mashburn, to take himself out of game one of the series. It's deadlocked the score at 62. Kittle's waving kid to the other side, gives it up to Van Horn. McCullough, why not? Well, they're just, they're just gonna keep attacking till you find out, find the answer for it. Kicked ball out of bounds. Well, Todd McCullough's show continues right here. They swing the ball to the weak side. He gets a pick, flashes into the lane, and with a nice finish. Looks like Shaq. He thinks he's got Shaq in there against uh, his team. As the uh, Hornets have no answer for Todd McCullough in the third quarter. Eldon Campbell in foul trouble. Suspended. Well, they are you know, very capable as an outside shooter right now. It's all they're running plays to develop outside shots or pick and rolls. He's a very good passer. Kittles. He's found his shooting eye here in game one after struggling against Indiana. He's hit three of his last four. McCullough had him stifled down there in the low post. Track the trail had no place to go. And Jason came down and gave Barron the wide open three. That's why would you ever double Robert Trailer? He's not much of a threat. In the shadow of Lady Liberty at the New Jersey Meadowlands, Tom Hammond, Mike Dunleavy, Andrea Joyce. Todd McCullough leading the New Jersey attack with 14 points. He only averaged five a game in the series against Indiana. Did not have double figures in any of the games, but had the big third quarter here. Well, he exploded once Eldon Campbell went out of the game. I think he's only had like two points while Eldon Campbell is guarding him. Let's go to Andrea Joyce. All right, standing by with Todd McCullough, who really sparked the comeback in the third you know, quarter. We've always been like this all season. We never have lost our composure. We stay together, and somebody picks us up. Todd picked us up in the second half. You know, start blocking shots and going to you know to the cup hard, and you know it's every night somebody different. 